This is Cato Hawes. I want to take a few minutes and talk about bow drill bricks and fires. I've been doing this since the early 70s and I've learned a lot. Today is May 28, 2021. If conditions are good, it's fairly easy. If conditions are bad, it can be impossible. So I want to talk about how to make conditions good so that you can have success with bow drill friction fires. One thing that's very important is to have dry materials. These pieces of cottonwood have been sitting on my porch, my back porch here, for several months, and they're dry. That's good. That is very good. The tinder bundle is dry. It's got some shredded up material in there. It should work well. Now, I want to talk about um, the shape of your spindle. The top needs to be kind of pointed so that if you were to put it into a spoon, there's no friction. And hopefully, your handpiece is kind of shaped like a spoon inside. So there's very little friction. I can feel some, but not terrible. And this is green. This is very, very dry, but the handpiece is a green limb. And as long as it stays green for a couple of weeks, it should be a pretty good hand piece. Now, the bottom, when you push it into a spoon, it should not, it should not spin free. This one does. So I'm going to fix that. Just going to take and carve off the tip so that there's a flat area there. Now I've got some friction, and let's see how well that's going to work. My bow drill, by, my bow by the way, is stiff, solid piece of wood. It's not flexible. A flexible limb will cause you slippage on the push. You don't want that. I've got a club hitch at this end where my hand is so that it's very adjustable. I'm going to burn this in just a minute. Make sure I know where that hole's going to be. Now that's good that we got smoke so fast. That's because the center was not touching and the outside was. That is very, very good. All of your heat generation takes place in the shoulder of the spindle. Now that's where it rubs the hampers. I mean where it rubs the baseboard. Between the two of them, you get a lot of heat generation. I'm going to cut me oh, approximately 60 degree notch here. Looks like it's going to be a little less. That's okay. This is a very sharp knife, so hope that I'm being safe with it. That's the main thing when fire building is to be safe. That looks like a good notch. It's not as big as maybe it ought to be, but it's going to work fine. I've got a, a chip, they call it. 
It's a dry piece of cardboard, or you could use a, a dry piece of bark. And let's give it a shot and see if this cottonwood on cottonwood is going to give us a cold. Our first challenge is to get that thing smoking again, which it's doing now already. And their second challenge is to get a large quantity of sawdust in that notch. Generally, a small quantity is not sufficient. For two reasons. A small quantity of sawdust will not generate. And secondly, a small quantity may not ignite your bundle. That's good. By the way, one thing I forgot, and it caused me trouble, I forgot to lubricate the top of the spindle a little bit. See this nose grease up here? Huh? I should have done it. But, take a look at that coal. It's beautiful. I'm going to push it out of the notch. Then I'm going to take and gently put it into my, my nest. And then I'm going to just nestle it and maybe it here a little bit. I could start blowing on it, obviously. But if you think about that for a minute, what's going to happen if I blow too hard on that? I can see a lot of, of coal in there, a lot of sparks. But what's going to happen if I get too vigorous with it? is I'm going to lose those sparks out on the ground. So there's a fine line between pushing this too fast and just pushing it too slow. Not a real fine line, but you kind of get the picture. You need to get it ox give it oxygen, but not scatter it to the four winds. Okay, so that was a good, a good uh, tinder bundle. It caught right away. There was a lot of fine shredded and dry materials in there. I want to talk to you for a minute back over here. Remember the principles we talked about. Dry baseboard and spindle. And I might add, of the right type. Not all wood will do this. Cottonwood will do it. Seep willow, sotol, sycamore under the right conditions, aspen. A lot of things will do it. A lot of things will not. Some things you get a great big coal smoking like crazy, and you stop moving your spindle, and it goes right out. And I'm talking about things like uh, ponderosa pine. Not a good material for fire by friction. Okay, remember green wood for your handpiece. And make sure the top of your spindle is smooth against something concave and the bottom you'll need to occasionally take and knock off the tip because heat generation does not take place well 
at the tip. It takes place well on the shoulders. Well, good luck. Be careful with fires and have a great day. Thank you.